If I'm pulling my hair out, it's a good thing I know how to put it back in. In Photoshop. <laughs> Today I'm going to show you how to fill in your eyebrows in Photoshop. How fun is that? Hey guys, and welcome to Flurn. My name is Aaron Nace, and you can find me on flurn.com where we make learning fun. And we're kind of hitching on to a current beauty trend right now. It's super fun to have big filled in eyebrows. So we're gonna show you how to fill in your eyebrows in Photoshop. So basically we got two parts to this tutorial. The first part is creating the shape of your eyebrow, and we're gonna show you how to fill it in with a little bit of a darker color that's gonna give you your base. We'll show you a cool thing you can do to blur the edges to make it look super realistic. Then it's time to paint in the individual hairs. And we got some really cool brush options here. So whether you guys are using a pressure sensitive tablet or a mouse or a trackpad, whatever it is, you're gonna be able to create realistic hair with whatever tools you have. This really just takes a couple of minutes to do and it makes a huge difference on your portraits. Let's go ahead and jump into Photoshop. All right, let's fill in these eyebrows. Now, before we get started, I gotta say this, uh, if you're this model, I apologize because you had beautiful eyebrows before we started this. I actually thinned them out in Photoshop. And apologies, you're a beautiful person. You've got great eyebrows. We're gonna show you how to refill them back in in Photoshop. So the first thing we're gonna do is create like a little outline of the eyebrows and fill it in with like a little bit of a darker color, kind of like you would do with makeup. And then we're actually gonna draw in some new eyebrows. It's gonna be really cool. So let's go ahead and zoom in. Now I'm gonna click on my pen tool. So let's hit P for the pen tool. And basically this is just gonna allow us to create a shape right around the eyebrow. And I love the pen tool because you can create your shape and then you can change it at any time. So let's go ahead and start right about here at the end of the eyebrow. Okay, we're gonna click here and kind of drag out in this direction. Just gonna give us that nice arch there. And I'm gonna kind of come out here and then just click a couple times, not even worried about creating like curves here. All right, we're gonna come up in this direction here. There we go, and just click here at the end. So the great thing again about the pen tool is if you wanna change any things, any of these, you can. So hold the control or the command key and just click on any one of these little points and you can kind of move them around. So if you wanna like change the shape of the eyebrow, that's totally cool. Now, my other suggestion here is just go like a little bit bigger than you think you need for the eyebrow because you can always mask it away. Okay, so that looks like a pretty good eyebrow selection. And again, this is gonna be for our, um, like the, the fill of the eyebrow. So now that we have that selection, just right click right in there and go to uh, make selection. And I recommend feathering this by about one pixel. So let's hit okay there. So you can see we basically just have a selection. So I'm gonna create a new layer and we're gonna use the brush tool. Now, my suggestion here, just use like a really big soft edge brush. Okay, so you can see if I right click here, my size is at 107, my hardness is at zero, and you can download the same image on flurn.com so you guys can practice if you want to. Just follow the link right down below. So we're using a really large soft edge brush here. And now notice we're also on a new layer here. Okay, so with my brush tool, I'm gonna hold Alt or Option, and I'm gonna just sample this like brown color that's already in the eyebrow. Now, if a person doesn't have any eyebrows or there's really not much to sample, you can just sample the color from their, their hair on their head too, that's totally okay. So we're gonna just pick this color. Now, before I get started here, we're gonna change our blend mode of this layer from normal. We're gonna go down to multiply, and that's just kinda gonna darken things down. So again, we've got our selection looking really good. We got a big soft edge brush. We're gonna paint with brown and we're on multiply. So there's only two more things that we need to keep in mind. The next thing we wanna do is we wanna make sure we can build up this effect pretty slowly. We don't wanna just like put a whole bunch of eyebrow color on there at one time. We wanna kind of build it up and make sure it's really natural. So anytime you wanna build up an effect and make it natural, use a low flow on your brush and that'll help you build that effect up. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's change our flow right here. This is our brush. We're gonna change our flow down to about 20%. Uh, so you can just type over here. You can type in 20, you can hit shift two, you can click here and you can change your flow. Okay, so any of those ways is gonna work. Okay, now let's go ahead and zoom out a little bit and I'm just gonna hide my selection because right now I got all these little dots here and it's just a little bit annoying. I can't see what I'm doing. So I'm gonna hit Control or Command H, and that's gonna hide that selection. Now, the selection's still active, I just can't see it. 
And if this is your first time doing Control or Command H, it's gonna ask you if you wanna hide Photoshop or hide the extras, just click hide extras. Okay, so my selection's hidden now. I can't see it, but I can see what I'm, what I'm doing on. So the selection is active. So I've got my big brush and I'm just gonna start painting in here just a little bit. And remember, we're using a low flow here, right? Really low flow. So that means we're gonna build up our effects. So just kind of like draw in like little circles around here, you know, center more, focus more around the center and the arch of the eyebrow and kind of like fade it out towards the edges, okay? There we go. All right, so we want this to be a relatively, there we go, relatively nice fade from one side to the other. Okay, and that's, that's looking pretty good there. Now, let's just make this invisible invisible again. Okay, so you can see what we kind of got there. Now, we're gonna zoom in here, and you'll notice that here in the center of the eyebrow, this looks pretty good, right? It's like nice and well-defined, and we got a pretty clear line there. That's pretty cool. But here, <laughs> it starts to look pretty bad. So what we're gonna do, let's go ahead and deselect. You can hit Control or Command D to deselect. And then, look, we're on this same layer. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our blur tool. Okay, so we're just gonna blur what's going on here. So make sure you uh, uncheck sample all layers because we're just gonna blur this, okay? And then go ahead and bring your strength all the way up to 100. And we'll make our brush a little bit larger. So we're just gonna blur what's going on here. So with our blur tool, there we go. Just kind of painting in here and that's just gonna blur that. And you can see what a nice job. Let's go blur it up there and over there a little bit more. Cool. So let's just, I'm gonna hit Control or Command Z. So there's the before and the after just kind of blurs it in. So you still got your effects, still looks really good and everything like that. It's just blurred a little bit more. Okay, well, that's uh, pretty much halfway done. So what we did is we created that shape. Now, the next thing we need to do is fill it in with the little eyebrow hairs to make it actually look realistic. And there's really two ways you can do this. I use a pressure sensitive tablet. This is a Wacom Intuos small tablet. I love it. You can find more information right down below in the description. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do this. If you got one of these, great. Uh, it allows you to be pressure sensitive, which will, it's really great for like drawing little hairs. Uh, if not, I'm gonna show you how to do it with a mouse or a trackpad as well. So whatever you got, you can totally do this. Basically, you're gonna be drawing a few little hairs. So we're gonna start off, we're gonna show you how to do it with a mouse, because I'm guessing most of you guys have a mouse or a trackpad. So to start off, let's go ahead and create a new layer. Hit B for the brush tool. Again, we're gonna sample this dark color and on this layer, we're gonna change this to a multiply as well. So that's gonna be our dark hair. Now we wanna go ahead and make our brush small, about the size of a hair here. So let's go ahead and zoom in a little bit. So you wanna make it about the size of a hair and you can do some tests on, on you know your image if you wanna just like draw a little bit. Like, does that look like a, a hair? That actually does look pretty good. And I'm gonna right click and bring our hardness up to about 70. 70% uh, as well. So in this case, if you're gonna follow along with this same image, my brush size is set to three and my hardness is set to 70. Okay, so let's go to our really cool way that's gonna actually fade this brush off and it's gonna make it look like it's a hair. So we're gonna go to window and down to brush and here's where all of your cool uh, brush options happen. So let's just show you how this looks like normally. Okay, this would be like a totally normal brush where you just paint like that and it, it just looks like that, right? That's not gonna look like a hair because when you have a hair, uh, it's gonna start full and then kind of, it's gonna fade off into a tiny little point. So what we need to do is we need that to be built into this brush. So check it out. You can do that right here inside of your brush window. So let's click on the shape dynamics here. Now here where it says your size jitter, okay? Keep the jitter at zero. You don't need this to get larger or smaller, but here where it says control, we're gonna click on fade, okay? Now this is super cool because fade, it's gonna go, you can kind of see a preview there. It's gonna go from your largest diameter to zero. So if I click and drag here, you're gonna see it's gonna fade away. See how it gets smaller like that? It actually makes it look like a little hair. How neat is that? Now, <laughs> the next thing you can do here, check this, is you can change this number. So if I've got this uh, set to 50, this is the length that your little brush is gonna be, okay? So you can make it a little bit longer if you want to. This is set to 100, so it's gonna go 100, uh, I guess this is 100 pixels and then kind of fade away. Um, you really just wanna like dial this in to about the eyebrow length on your, on your image there, okay? So 
in this case, let's see, is that about right? 30? No, let's try 60. It just gets longer. The bigger number you do, the longer it's going to get. Okay, and there we go. I'm just making it a little bit, I'm lowering my flow a little bit because when I was painting it, it was a little bit too much. So there we go. Let's see about that, if that looks pretty good. So I'm at about 60 and we can see, isn't that really cool? It just kind of fades off. And now I can kind of, you know, paint in these individual hairs and they're going to look like eyebrow hairs, which is really, really cool. Now you want to be a little bit random when you do this, you know, not every hair is going in the same direction. Okay, we'll start up here. We'll do some of these as well. And again, all this is with uh, just a regular mouse, which is pretty cool. If you guys watch Flurn a lot, you'll know that I use a sensitive, pressure sensitive tablet like kind of all the time. So to see me use a mouse, what a treat. Now <laughs> you're gonna have some of this down here at the bottom where it's gonna look a little bit like, it's gonna look pretty gnarly down there, but that's not really a big deal. Just hit E for your eraser tool and just use a large soft edge eraser here and just kind of erase it away just like just the edge see I'm using a large soft edge brush and you can just kind of like pop that and erase it away so you get these really nice little hairs going on here um, and you can kind of like fade it away just to make it look realistic because sometimes this stuff is not going to look super realistic so um, what we've got is a really nice result here and you can see we've got our all of our little individual hairs there and we've got our filled in area. Now keep in mind, these are always on different layers. So you can like lower your fill or uh, if you want more of it, you could duplicate that layer for instance. That's too much, so we're not gonna do it that way. But basically our effect's done. So that was with using the mouse, which is totally cool. I'm gonna use a pressure sensitive tablet for my version of it because uh, I love these things. They just make everything easier in Photoshop. So let's go ahead and show you how to do that as well. So for this, let's go ahead and make the other eyebrow hair invisible, okay? We'll just zoom in, I'm gonna create a new layer, and then now we're gonna take our control here and set this to pen pressure. So this way, the harder or softer I press with my brush, the larger or smaller my, my little hair is gonna get. So you can see, I just have a lot more control. I'm, I'm also used to using these tablets, so for me, it's like, oh yeah, painting little hairs. This is like not a problem at all. So that's that's one great thing that these little tablets are good for. So let's go ahead and show you, you know, how I would do this just by, you know, painting a bunch of little hairs in here. We kind of have some kind of coming out in this direction here. Um, there we go. Kind of paint them out in this way here. So whatever tool you enjoy using and whatever tool uh, makes you comfortable, you know, that's the tool you want to choose for the job. So if you love using your mouse or trackpad, totally cool. If you want to use a pressure sensitive tablet, uh, that's that's really great. I, I really like using those too. So uh, whatever you want, it's your your preference. And the same thing, I'm just going to kind of erase on end to end. So you can see this is my result from using a pressure sensitive tablet. Just kind of filling that in. And then you can decide for yourself, you know, how much you'd like to fill it in. If I put another layer on here and put, you know, another multiply, there we go. So you can see, I'm just kind of filling it in even more. You know, you can say, ooh, I like the super thick eyebrows. So you can just make them, you know, as thick as you want. And it's a fun, it's a beauty trend right now to have like a uh, really thick, big eyebrows, which is a real bonus for me because I was born with them. <laughs> Look at me, I'm trending. Man, what a cool trending individual I am. All right, there we go. So we can kind of thicken them up a little bit. And this is just painting little hairs, okay? So you can say like, oh, that's, that's cool. Or like, wow, that's actually way too much. Just lower your opacity and you can kind of have some fun with it. So here you can see, guys, what a cool result, huh? So here's our before. There we go. And our after. And that's all there is to filling in your eyebrows in Photoshop. What a cool thing we can do. So basically, we started off with creating our shape with the pen tool, and then we just kind of painted that in with a large soft edge brush. We use the blur tool to fade the edges, which is a great little tip. 
and then we're brushing in the individual hairs for the eyebrows. And you can do that with your pen tablet, or we showed you how to do with the mouse. The really cool thing there is you wanna hit that control and set it to fade, and then you can choose your length, which is gonna be super cool for making hair. And don't forget, you guys can download this image on Flurn.com. Just follow the link in the description right down below. Thanks so much for watching Flurn, guys. I hope you enjoyed hanging out with me. I enjoyed hanging out with you. I'll flirt you later. Bye, everyone. What a hair-raising episode. This was just a hair above the rest. A hair of the dog that bit you. Is that a thing? <laughs> <laughs> what are some other good hair puns? Oh boy, this is really getting hairy.